Hey, good morning, you guys. Ooh, wait. Hey, beautiful people. I'm Amarachi. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are vlogging. Today is Sunday, uh, October the 8th. And it is currently after 12. Um, it's almost 12.30. So we're on our way to the grand opening salon for my girl, Rosemary. Um, you guys would have seen in previous vlogs that um, I go to her to get my hair done in terms of like maintenance um for my natural hair so i'm going to her salon she's having her official grand opening um so i'm going over there to go love on her and support her i put lotion on and i'm still ashy what is happening right now my voice is still cracked from last night um i popped a few um emergency packets had some hot tea with some lemon and honey and i feel like i'm back i feel my voice starting to feel a lot more soothing and comforting um, but whew, last night was fun <laughs> last night was fun and my camera still seems to be working the way that it should I mean you guys look good y'all are glowing shining looking real nice and beautiful so I think we're okay I hope <laughs> I hope we're okay um, so yeah I when I get to the salon, and I only have an hour left on this SD card, um, but hopefully when I get to the salon, I can get a video or a picture of my full outfit. Obviously, I don't have a full-length mirror in my at my mom's house, so <sighs> I can't wait to get into my house. <laughs> can't wait to move and just get into my house. Like, I'll it'll it'll be such a relief to get back into my own space if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys when we get to the salon. Bye. Hey you guys so we just made it here um it looks like they're still setting up it's 12 45 so it's 15 minutes until the event starts but um i didn't want to miss the ribbon cutting which is at one um but they're still setting up so i'm just going to chill in the car for a little bit um and i'll let you guys see too what they're doing because it looks really really good outside the theme i think is like neutral because our studio is like a neutral aesthetic so the balloons and stuff out here is so pretty let me sh turn you guys around so you guys can see can you guys see see like how the balloons this has to be amanda if you guys don't know who amanda is she is the decorator for like all type of, of events we love us some amanda so i'll plug her down in the description box below but you can tell they're doing a whole you know beautiful art if you will with the balloons and yeah that that has to be amanda so yeah they're still setting up so i'll just chill in the car for a second i'll pick up the camera once things start to look like they're moving in the direction where we can go inside because there are a few people that are standing outside and i got a time limit in these hills who don't have a time limit in hills yeah i'm gonna sit in the car and just wait for a second I'm going to throw my lip gloss on and then I'll pick up the camera once um, it's time for us to go inside. Okay, see y'all. Opening. A lot of y'all um, know, a lot of y'all don't know. I opened this actually in February and um, just getting everything together. We've been so busy from the moment we opened this. So there was no time to even celebrate it in the right way, right? So I feel like any new business, any thing you're doing you need to celebrate it yes. and I'm just so happy to be able to do it with everyone in my community um, I have First Lady Stephanie here she is a First Lady at Concord I go to the church so often and um, I really want her to be able to bless the space Amen. and bless everyone here. well listen we are so proud of you and we just thank the Lord for what he's doing in your life and in your in your career and how he's had a hand on you whole entire time and we look at you as a testimony of what God can do. <laughs> Gratitude right now. So I hope y'all definitely enjoyed today. 
I'm not gonna cry. Yeah. You got this. You worked so hard. Yeah. God's on my side. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna do this. Medicine. I need your love and I need you, I need everything. Love will go love me fast, love will go take a life. I need your love and I'm promising you everything. Whoa. Finally spoke my mind, say you did really listen, yeah. Show me the doors to your heart, baby, I'm breaking in, yeah. Finally spoke my mind, Oh, I got 15% left on this battery. I just left Rosie's event. Oh, she made me cry. I'm so proud of that girl. Like, I keep saying it. Like, I am very, very proud of her. Kelly! You just got here? Yeah, you did. Yeah! How was your test? Uh, no, no, I didn't take my test. I was studying. Gave up my test. So you were studying. You didn't want to come and enjoy IB. Uh, so you yeah. didn't want to come and enjoy IB. Are you leaving? I've been here since what? Really? Ask Stanley. I didn't leave. You don't live in Dallas, do you? No, I just moved back in March. I'm still here. Oh, so you live now? Yeah, but yeah. I was in Houston, yeah. I moved back in March. So I'm here now. <laughs> see, see, you ask me where I did go. I've been here. Ask him. Say I've been here since one o'clock. Yeah, well, I still want to know the answer to that question. Where are you going? Oh, that's your question too. I'm going home. I have work tomorrow. Are y'all going to Dahlia's? Uh, Dahlia's? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm about to go watch you with my friend. Where at? Tell me. I'm, yeah, we're trying to figure it out. There's a big game tonight. There's San Francisco and uh, Cowboys. Right so y'all don't know where y'all are going. Y'all just talking just to be you, talking. You, 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 uh, I love football. If it's the Cowboys, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> All right, y'all have to get. Of course. Right, take care of my sister Kelly. Uh, me, mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got told today that my makeup is stamped. <laughs> today was really really great. My bracelet keeps um, picking at my dress. I'm, I'm highly annoyed about that. We're gonna go ahead and head home. Truthfully, I should go charge my car, but yeah, I'll go charge my car just for a little bit because I'm on 24%. I just don't wanna be in that area. I wanna go home. Rosie's event was absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All of her hard work literally is all in that place and you can just see all her hard work that she put into her her space and what she you know was wanting for herself and for her 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 brand as a hair as a hairstylist you you can you can't help but not smile and say thank you god for blessing her and just being happy for her genuinely authentically just straight up happy for her i'm very very happy for her i got to meet a lot of a lot of great people um so right now i'm still in the city i'm gonna go charge my car and then i'm gonna go ahead and head home we have work tomorrow and yeah what was i going to say next wow today was just really really great if today didn't give me the motivation to push myself and to go harder to vamp my artistry and to take it a lot seriously because I that's something that I'm so passionate about is makeup artistry if this did not if this event altogether did not push me or motivate me to go in to do more to go harder to really take it serious about my my craft 
I'm, I'm going to regret it. Really, I'm going to regret it. Like how I'm taking being a makeup, uh, like how I'm taking YouTube, YouTube seriously. I have to put that same energy and that same effort into my artistry, into my craft. Because that's something that I'm passionate about. You know what I'm saying? So, we, we have some work to do. It's going to be some good work. It, we may not be happy. Things may not go according to, to our plan. But we're going to give it up to God. And ask for Him to lead. And that I make the best decisions that are aligned with what He wants for me. That is it. That is all. He He's put the will in my heart being on YouTube. I'm being obedient. I know that he's put my artistry and my passion for makeup artistry in my hands. He's given me a seed and now it's time for me to water it and watch it grow. So I'm going to do the best that I can to make sure that I abide by what he's asking me to do. And as I am abiding by it, we're going to see it flourish. I need to charge my car for just a little bit. So we're gonna buy by it. Other than that, I mean, yeah, I'm definitely inspired. My girl has inspired me to go in, to, to follow your heart, follow your dreams, do what you are passionate about. And so we're gonna do just that. We are going to do just that. So um I'm going to chill for a second. I'm gonna charge my car up until about like 70%. And then I'm going to go home and then take a shower, take this makeup off. I've worn makeup two days in a row now. And I cannot wait to take a shower, take this makeup off, and just be barefaced. Literally, barefaced. <laughs> hmm. This shrimp fried rice is really good. I shouldn't be eating it, but seeing as though that I haven't eaten anything all day, other than a few pieces of plantain, I have a little bit of this. Okay. Talk to you guys when I get home. Hey guys, it is a little bit later. I'm home. I got 3% left on this battery. Ugh. Okay, let me make this quick. I've been home for a little bit. It's 10 o'clock right now. Um, I just took a shower, did my facial nightly routine, um, and I am about to find something to eat. I think I'm about to make me a salad and then go to bed. Um, I have work in the morning, but uh, the thing that's yeah, I want to go ahead and just close out the vlog because I don't think I'm doing anything else tonight. Today is a Sunday and there's no actual holiday tomorrow. So, yeah, <laughs> y'all have a great night. Hey, you guys. I'm currently in the car. What's new? Um, I'm in the car because I'm heading to um, an event at my sister's church in Farmer's Branch. I've been to her church a few times when I was living in Dallas, or excuse me, not when I was living, when I would come back to Dallas to visit. So I'm going to their ladies night. All, I'm wearing PJs, that's the thing. I will see you guys when we make it to her church. Thing, if I may, can I have um, a slip cover or a sleeve? Excuse me. Yes. What is the actual name for these? We call them sleeves. Oh, I call them slip covers. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you. You too. Thank you. Okay, you guys. So we just made it. I'm currently still in the car. Apparently, they haven't started yet. So even though I'm like an hour late they're all just mingling in the lobby so they haven't really really started i guess they're giving people time to get here <clears throat> because of traffic it's like after six and people are getting off work around this time so you know okay you want to come 
They want to come and get the word? Yeah? Okay, let's go. Before we go, I bought a new tripod since breaking my tripod last weekend. And oh my gosh, this, this joker is huge. It's the Yulanzi, I think, MM something. MT44. And the one that I had prior to this that I broke on accident was the Yulanzi um, RM01 one and this makes me a little nerve-wracking to vlog out in public because my other one was small and lightweight it wasn't like a big chunky you know it wasn't like a chunky what's it called tripod oh sorry y'all guys um i'm in the car we just well i'm leaving early <laughs> this is 9 32 and they're still as you guys can tell like they're still going at it just that i have to get up at 6 well really 5 30 maybe even 5 to 
go to the gym tomorrow and then after that i have another appointment and then after that i have to go back home and take a shower and get dressed because we're having a sister brunch type lunch thing so i know they, i know i need to get some sleep and if i'm gonna do that i need to can i go this way i can if i'm going to do that then i need to leave on time i cannot go this way okay this event was really really nice i'm glad that my sister invited me um it was um what is it called it was a night in type theme where you come in your pjs as if it was like a girl's night as you guys would have seen in the earlier clips they had a 500 feet turn right onto valley view lane okay thank you they had a uh, pj contest now but a turn right onto valley view lane they had a pj contest um but apollo style so like if you guys remember from like the apollo whenever they would try to crown a winner they would put the hand over the person's head and whoever had the highest praise <laughs> or the loudest praise won so they did that and this girl had this really cute emerald green ensemble robe with fur and it was just giving <laughs> she did that and then they had this really cool game called broken dance um if it's the exact same method of broken telephone where you have to repeat what the person told you in your ear and you have to say it verbatim in hopes that the person that you repeat it to doesn't mess feet, turn right freeway. doesn't mess up but this version was more so I'm gonna show you my dance. I'm gonna show you my dance, and you have to t show the person behind you the same dance. You have to get it right. So, same method. But I, I like this event. It was it was nice. The pastor had a really really lovely word, and I can appreciate the word that she gave. Like I do. It was. I took notes. I'm having to. Think. It's in the back somewhere, but they gave us little goodie bags and in that goodie bag, which you guys would have seen is um, a breast cancer awareness ribbon along with prayer request card with a scripture on the bottom. I think it was like first John something and then an actual notebook that says transformation, the unveiling or something like that. I took down a lot of notes. I did because it it correlated like it registered to me i'm not even gonna hold you like it everything that she said i was like yes pastor ak i i'm i'm in agreement. like yes i agree with you and it was more so inspirational can you shut up it was more so inspirational at the same time um it was motivating enough to tell me that i really gotta get myself to work i have to stop getting in my head i have to stop getting in my own way of wanting to be successful of wanting to pursue makeup artistry the right way not say that i don't know how to do makeup because i can be a couple faces and sink to the er but in a sense of taking my artistry off off the ground you know what i'm saying like hit the ground running i have to take myself serious but i that is something that I've always battled with is the fear of not being good enough. Ooh, why am I about to start crying? Ooh, the, f the fear of not being good enough, the fear of failing, the fear of losing myself, the fear of trying to compare myself to others so i can receive that exact same accolade that person received like in 500 feet, comparison is a thief of joy and i can't keep doing that and i haven't done that in a very very long time this was just more so a reminder now turn left onto forest lane this is definitely more so of a reminder to wake the up and and put in the work I've put in the work before. Consistency, 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 consistency. With consistency, with hard work, with prayer, and trusting and believing in myself, trusting and believing in God, 
YouTube is gonna is gonna blow up. <laughs> my artistry is gonna blow up. Other things that I want to do for myself that I haven't even said on here, it's gonna happen. I have to trust and believe that my Alpha and Omega will make it happen. He is the king of making the impossible very much possible. Tonight was really nice. It's time to unveil. It's time to time to continue to love myself. It's time to continue striving and growing. At the same time, it's also it's also time to start giving myself a chance. Because when I don't give myself a chance, I miss out on the opportunities of me winning, of me growing, of me exceeding and succeeding. Like. No more of that. I mean, we did it. We're going in the right path. Look at this. We're on YouTube now. Again. <laughs> and we've been consistent since... I want to say that was like ending of July, beginning of August, if I remember correctly. And here we are. So while I'm doing this and while I'm, you know, filming myself, filming my journey, filming my life, I'm going to also put in that exact same energy into my artistry. We're gonna hit the ground running with my artistry. I can't wait. It's been a very, very inspirational, inspiring and inspirational few weekends or week, if you will, from Peyton's meet and greet to just meeting influential people who just have words of wisdom and then going to close friends celebratory events to celebrate their their wins i have to remind myself to celebrate myself even in the smallest of wins and even in my losses because in, in those losses i'm learning something from that i'm taking that loss and i'm turning it around and turning it into a win so god is good god is amazing thank you god for everything i don't take it for granted so with that being said, I'm heading home. This is 9.42. I am in back to back, back to back traffic. I really wanna get home. I'm gonna pack my workout bag. My goal is to be at the gym for an hour minimum and then head to Allison. These nails. And then after that, I'm, ho I'm heading home. And then taking a shower, getting dressed, because I'm going to a sister brunch tomorrow with all three of my sisters. And then after that, I think I, my sister, and a few of our friends are going to the state fair. It's not open here in Dallas. All that to say, we're gonna have a really good day tomorrow. And then Sunday, my goal is to go to church and then come back and then install, finally install, <laughs> my um interior led lights in my car my baby is is a year old creme de la creme she is a year old turned one in september <laughs> y'all say happy birthday to creme de la creme for me in the comment section down below before i ordered my car um i had bought these interior led strip lights to go into my car because at night it's very dark in here like there the cabin doesn't have much interior or ambient lighting so i went on amazon bought some ambient lighting that i want to use in my car change it to any kind of color that i want i can have it sync up to the music in my car so when the music drops and the beat drops and whatnot the lights gonna drop too it's gonna be a whole vibe i've been meaning to install them but you know things just happen and, and you know yeah things just happen <laughs> we're gonna try to install the ambient lighting this Sunday so that at nighttime like this I can have really cool ambient vibey lights in my car yeah it's gonna, it's gonna be fun it'll be fun I will see you guys bright and early. By the grace of God, I get up on time. I know I'll get up on time. But I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Hey, good morning, you guys. It's Saturday the 14th of October. It is currently 6.56. We are on our way to the gym. I am late. Not by my fault. 
It's y'all's niece. This whole week, she's been waking up choosing violence. And she's... Yeah. By the way, we're still motivated. We're up and out of the house. We're going to the gym. And then after that, we have an appointment with Allison and all that good stuff. I forgot to grab me some water to bring with me. And as well as sanitation wipes because John Reed no longer has sanitation stations. So for anybody who's interested in working out at John Reed, just keep in mind that they don't have the sanitation stations anymore to where you can wipe down the equipment after it's been used. Let me see if I have anything in here that I can take with me inside. Because, well, when I stop, I'll pick up wet ones. I'm gonna stop and pick up something to drink, as in water and Celsius. Um, and then I'll try to pick up wet wipes as well. This will be my first time going to this gym. I to actually work out, work out. So I'm actually pretty excited to go and try it out. I already remember, I signed up uh, the day or the day after I did my tour. I'm actually excited just to get back in shape. Truly, I feel out of shape. Like I feel like I put on extra weight and I've, re and I've recognized that. And so now I'm putting in the work to take off that extra weight. So I'm cutting out alcohol. I'm cutting out rice, I'm cutting out bread. I really don't eat bread, I don't have bread at home. And just making better healthy, better healthy lifestyle choices. I was so strict with my lifestyle choices immediately after I had weight loss surgery up until December of last year when I had my cosmetic surgery. Um, but even then, like I was still like super cognitive of what I wanted to eat and drink. And then I got to Dallas, so I'm just like, <laughs> party, woo <-hoo." laughs> I mean, we're, we're still gonna have a good time and have us an espresso martini here and there, but not excessively, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna start counting my calories again. So my fitness app is gonna be like my best friend all over again. I counted every calorie that you can possibly think of. And I was so strict, I was like, I don't wanna go over 1200 calories, and I didn't. I was very, very, very strict. I didn't go over 1,200. So we're setting that goal again, um, and then we're gonna start juicing again. I like to use squeezed juice. I'm not sure if you guys are in Dallas, if you guys have heard of them, or I'm not sure where exactly they service, but I know for sure, like in Dallas and Houston, Austin, San Antonio, pretty much every major city in Texas, they service. I'm not sure if it's like a Texas thing, but I know for sure that um, they service Texas major cities in Texas. I'm gonna do my weekly cleanse with them by juicing and then going on a strict healthy eating is what I'm wanting to do. So, all right. I guess I will see you guys when we stop at the store or better yet, when we stop at John Reed. I'll see you guys at John Reed. You're like sugar, so sweet I know this one's for me It don't matter, whatever the weather Cause you're my great Okay, you guys, we are here. We just made it to John Reed. Um, I'm in the car still. I had to move this buggy out the way so that I could park, but I stopped and <laughs> I grabbed my water and I grabbed my Celsius, but I forgot to grab my wet wipes. And the one that I have in here only has one wipe left, so it's really pointless to bring in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and head in and get situated. I'm gonna head to the locker room first to put my um, my drink up. I'm keeping my water out, but I'll put my Celsius up. Okay, let's go inside, you guys. Activate sentry mode. Hi, 
Hi, John. How are you? Good. I'm here. I signed up. In the morning. Thank you. I got you. <laughs> Thank you. You're I'm drenched as you guys can tell it's almost 8 30 and I have to get ready to go to my appointment at 9 with Allison so oh, I'm sweating like all down here like in the you know area I did notice that the treadmill doesn't have like an actual fan on it which is cool I don't mind it I feel like if I work out and there's a fan or it's too cool I don't feel like I'm burning anything or I'm, or I'm not sweating enough when there's no AC or there's no fan I definitely feel like I'm burning something like I'm sweating so. okay let's go see Allison Um, these are my nails from the last set. Unfortunately, I didn't vlog at that time when I went to get a new set from Allison. So that's, well, I'll show you this hand because this hand doesn't look as crazy. Can you guys see? But that was a good little 30 minute workout. It, I'm not happy that I didn't get to spend an hour in the gym for the simple fact that I had to like register and then there was that whole ordeal that I had to send an email to JR for me to film. Either way, I sent the email so I'm hoping they will get back to me. Okay, so now we're gonna head over to Allison's. My appointment is at nine o'clock and she is, yeah, she's actually 15 minutes. I'm gonna try to go get my car washed because my car needs to be washed. It's actually embarrassing at how dirty my car is. And it's a white car, so obviously the dirt shows a lot quicker on this car than it would if it was a black car. Okay. Oh, that's too cold. Love can't It's okay. You and Love can Yeah. Allison! No, don't. <laughs> no. Because I saw this. That's super cute. Oh. I think. Allison, this is friends, beautiful. Congratulations. Do you want to say hi? 
I liked it. Alice City Gang. Uh, See what I'm talking about? Uh, they started chipping off on this one. The mermaid, like, that's being used so, right now. Usually, it's, when it chips on yeah, this way, it's because it's like, not secure uh, fully so under the light. This corner right here, that's why you lift your finger. They did start lifting right here. Yeah, you lift your finger up under the light so you can't cover that corner. I really do pray it does. He was thinning, yeah, he was pushed back, and then like, you didn't have as much hair as it's Because the way that it's done, it really is. You'll fit a shit. So I can split it in half. Then. Yeah, or save. How are the balls? They're good. Oh, sure. So Malachi, I don't know how she, she was taking so long. That's Nana. That's Larry. You're gonna say hi. Screaming. Haritos pineapple. Are ready to cheers? Yeah. Cheers. Hold on. So in and then out. One, two, three. All right, good enough. Why? How did it look? Let's redo that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna pop down.